Here's white versus a queen side fianchetto. E4, B6. This is a relatively popular move for black. Um, transposes into uh, lots of uh, other variations. Um, and like, for example, it might also arrive after E6, D4, B6. When knight F3, bishop B7, bishop D3, knight F6, queen E2. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to get to this position, so we'll explore it a little bit later. Now also you could say here um, C5 and C3. Same thing with this. Lots of different ways to get there. Uh, we'll take a look at it. So back here, B4, B6, D4, Bishop B7, Bishop D3. Now we don't want to play knight c3 as then we're liable to be pinned by bishop b4 in the future. So black's best move here is uh, knight f6, but um, a move, a gambit that, uh, that has a tricky line uh, here is f5. Now this is a losing move, but one that requires a precise response, um, which would be very difficult if you hadn't seen it before, uh, to figure out on the board itself. e takes f5. Bishop takes g2, giving away the rook, but uh, it's all right. Queen h5, check. g6. F takes g6. And bishop g7 is surprisingly resilient. Um, because uh, an obvious move like knight f6, g takes h7, check. Knight takes h5, bishop g6, checkmate. So you don't want to uh, fall for that as black. So again here, bishop g7, queen f5, uh, spurning the knight on g8 to be the best reply. Black must deal with the threat of mate on f7, so knight f6, Bishop h6, forcing the bishop to h6 where it becomes a target for a future g6 check. And then uh, queen takes h6. So bishop takes h6. Um, so now let's see what else does black have. Black could play king f8, defending the bishop with his king. Queen g5, bishop takes h1, g takes h7, bishop takes h6, queen takes h6 check, king f7, knight h3, and this transposes into the main line. Um, so, let's see what else we got here. You can come back to, here we go, queen just played f5, black plays knight f6, bishop h6, bishop takes h6, g takes h7, king f8 sidestepping the check on g6, but the queen will go there anyways, queen g6, bishop takes h1, queen takes h6 check, king f7, knight h3, with the threat of knight g5 check, and mate on the next move, white is winning. For example, king e6, and knight g5 check, king d5, and as even if the black king survives, white has at least an endgame, uh, a sound pawn up. After knight f7, queen f8, or queen could play c8 with uh, queen g7. So queen f8. 
Queen takes f8. Rook takes f8. Queen or h8 turns into a queen. Rook takes. Knight takes, etc. <clears throat> so now uh, back up. There's uh, one variation that we missed here. Um, let's just go back to this position here. Um, bishop takes h1. Queen takes h6. Check. King f7. Knight h3. Now here, what about queen f8? Or, yeah, queen f8. So with this, we can play bishop g6 check. King e6, queen f4, and the black king will be trapped here sooner or later. So now this analysis might be difficult, but forewarned is forearmed. And as soon as a move like uh, f5 um, appears, you know, all of that, didn't mean to fast forward so fast. So after a move like F5 appears on the board, all your strength of mind, memory, and calculative ability can focus on just this one tiny position. So...